Welcome, welcome everyone to the Ekinkar Soul Adventure Podcast. I'm Heather Devari, and I am so excited to be your host for today. Thank you so much for joining our beautiful community of listeners from around the globe. We have a great theme today, inner peace and wisdom. To that I say, yes please, bring on the spiritual stress relief. I know you're busy, and I'm busy too. I'm a working mom, and it is no small miracle if my family can get through the weekday morning routine without, shall we say, some challenges, stress, general chaos. How do I work with that? For me, achieving any real peace comes down to a simple daily practice of aligning with the God current. I sing Hugh, H U an ancient mantra and love song to God. Here's what Sri Harold Klemp, the spiritual leader of Ekankar, says about the importance of a daily spiritual practice. This quote is from his book, The Sound of Soul. The mind can overreact to the rush of everyday living, leaving us on edge and out of sorts. We forget that help is as near as a few moments in contemplation. At least once a day, let the sound and light of God enliven you with spiritual impulses. Gently chant Hugh, and the silent wind of God will enter the sacred temple of consciousness in the heart. Once tensions relax, it is just moments until the healing current of spirit begins to restore you. Wow, I feel like he's speaking just to me. So today, we're going to explore this simple yet powerful, life-changing spiritual tool that can relax and restore you and bring miracles into your life. And the best part is that absolutely anyone can use it, regardless of your religion, regardless of your background or culture. You're going to hear a firsthand account of one of those everyday miracles made possible by using the spiritual tuning fork, the hue. And that story comes from Iloho Ureawe. She grew up in Ekankar, and she is a self-proclaimed joyous student of life. She recently spoke at the Temple of Ek here in Chanhassen, Minnesota, where she shared with a live audience how her daily practice of singing hue helps her stay mentally, emotionally, and spiritually on track, even when life takes her for a ride. Let's listen. I am so excited to share my own personal experience with the hue with you all. The hue is often referred to as the God sound because it is a sacred name for God and also a love song to God. Anyone and everyone can sing the hue And growing up, I experimented with the hue quite a bit, so much so that often I sing it to myself inwardly in times of trouble or stress. I like to think of my life as a large body of water and I am in a boat. Sometimes the water is calm and clear, there's blue sky. Sometimes it's a little choppy There's some clouds, and sometimes there are huge crashing waves, lightning, thunderstorms, the works. If you're panicking in a thunderstorm, it doesn't make it go faster. You just have to secure your boat and wait for it to pass. For me, the hue reminds me of that metaphor and also that thunderstorms don't last forever. I would like to share a story that I had with my car and a lesson on responsibility a little while ago. So around this time last year, I worked at a clinic, and outside of the clinic were two parking spots. And inside of the clinic was a coat rack by the front door where everyone would keep their coats. During this time, I had a not so great habit of leaving my car keys in my coat pocket on the coat rack. 
I had worked there for um, over a year or so and had never had any negative experiences with that habit until one day when I was closing up clinic with another coworker and I was taking the trash out next to the parking spots and there were no cars in the parking spots. My heart started racing and I ran inside and to my suspicion, my jacket was gone, my keys were gone, and so was my car. So I began to panic. I could not believe that that irresponsible mistake led to my car being gone. After I had my moment, I began singing Hugh, not so silently, in the lobby, <laughs> and thinking of some next steps. So I called my sister who lived nearby, and I put in a police report and started getting my ducks in a row. It turned out when I was talking to the police officers, they were not surprised. They were like, yeah, this happens all the time. Um, your car will probably show up in a couple of weeks. You should hang out, which was very easy to do. So I just decided to wait. But during my morning contemplation, um, I sang the hue like I do every day, and I also was asking inwardly, what is going on? What lesson do I need to learn here? I am so confused. <laughs> Two weeks later, I got a call that my car was at the impound lot. So my sister and I went down to go check things out, and the person at the front desk said that usually in this experience, your vehicle is going to be trashed, so prepare yourself. So we're walking on down, and I'm singing you inwardly, preparing myself for the worst. And when we get there, there were no external damages. We look through the car, and everything is exactly as it was. The only thing missing was my Hue CD. <laughs> A CD that I've had for years and has never taken out of the CD player was now gone. At this point, I was starting to put the pieces together, and for me, this was a lesson on responsibility. And what seemed to be an inconvenience was actually a gift for someone else. You know, whoever borrowed my car for those weeks now has a free Hue CD. <laughs> Surprisingly, in this experience, I was also filled with a lot of gratitude. I had so much love in my life, my family was incredibly supportive with transportation and insurance claims. Even the person I was working with that day stayed back to make sure that I was safe and gave me flowers the next day as like a nice little token. And I feel like a lot of things have come up from this experience for me, but specifically during challenges, it's sometimes hard to figure out what the bigger picture is. But when we sing the hue and really go inward, we realize that the Eck is always working in our favor. Overall, for me, the hue is my key to a spiritual life because it brings me to a place of peace and new perspective. And I challenge you all to maybe sing the hue inwardly during your next internal conflict and see what happens. Thank you. I just love this metaphor Eloho uses when she talks about weathering life's challenges. If you're panicking in a thunderstorm, it doesn't make it go faster, right? You just have to secure your boat and wait for it to pass. So now you may ask, how do I secure myself in this storm that can be life? There is this inner source of love and wisdom that is expressed as light and sound. You could call it the source of all enlightenment. In this next clip, Sri Harold Klemp guides a seminar audience through a spiritual exercise which gives you an idea of what to look and listen for as you sing the hue. After he's finished speaking, you'll hear a recording of thousands of people singing hue. Please feel free to just listen or join in if you feel comfortable. 
The whole exercise will only take about three minutes. Here we go. Do this knowingly because I'm standing up here and you say, "Uh uh-oh, control figure. You don't want to do it, don't do it, okay? I'm trying to make you aware of that if someone suggests you do something, that you make your own decision whether or not you want to do it, applying even here. And so I give these as ideas, and you may or may not participate as you feel comfortable. If you put your feet flat on the floor, you can interlace your fingers with your palms up, or you can just fold your hands in your lap, whichever way you feel more comfortable. Shut your eyes and look inwardly at the spot between the eyebrows to the spiritual eye. And what you do is look for the light, visualize a doorway, visualize a doorway, and see white light coming through it. Don't look directly at it, but make believe that you're looking at the doorway off to either your left or your right. Look in an oblique manner. So put your attention on this doorway at the place of the spiritual eye and look at it from an angle. Visualize yourself walking in front of the doorway. Go to the left of it, see if you can see better, or then if you see better on the right, go to the right. And then very softly, inwardly, to yourself, you can sing a name such as Hugh, H-U, and just do it in a long, drawn-out breath, such as, do a short one, Look at the doorway through which the white light is coming, and you ought to be able to see, perhaps not today, this is a practice session, but you're looking for a blue light or a blue star or a blue glow or something of this nature. As Sri Harold said in the recording, this was just a practice session. If you already have a physical practice like lifting weights or doing yoga, you understand that the full benefits come after practicing for a regular period of time. It's the exact same thing with the hue. So if you'd like to keep experimenting with the hue, the sound of soul, to see what kind of miracles it brings in your life, check out the resources in our show notes. My personal favorite is the free Hue app. I use it every day, every day, specifically the 20-minute Hue song recording, which is very similar to what you heard earlier. The app is really simple, it's lovely, and it doesn't take up much space on your device. It also includes a short how-to section and a very soothing video called Miracles in Your Life, It's great for those stressful moments at work. For an even deeper dive in the Hue, you may also enjoy listening to Hue, A Love Song to God. This is a fascinating 60-minute journey, enlivened by real-life stories, spiritual exercises for dreams, soul travel, and the compassionate wisdom of the Mahanta, the living Ek master, Sri Harold Klemp. It also includes that 20-minute Hue song that you can sing along with. You can listen to that directly from the official Ekinkar website or download it for free to enjoy on your device anytime. Oh, the recording is also available in French and Spanish. Again, you can find all those links in our show notes. That's our show for today. Inner peace and wisdom, gifts of the hue. All the best on your spiritual travels and happy hewing. Have fun. (laughs) 